Eric Ten Hag is set to come up with a special solution in Man United's attack after star forward Marcus Rashford suffered a suspected groin injury. News of Marcus Rashford's fitness has still not come from Manchester United, but it seems unlikely that he will be risked for the side's Europa League quarter-final first leg tie against Sevilla. Rashford limped off the pitch on Saturday as the Red Devils overcame Everton 2-0 in the Premier League and appeared to be a groin injury which usually take a minimum of 2-3 weeks to heal. In Sunday's game, Anthony Marshall played 30 minutes for the third consecutive match, so the obvious choice for manager Eric Ten Hag would be for the Frenchman to lead the line in Rashford's absence. This would mean Jadon Sancho continuing on the left wing and Anthony on the right, both of whom were excellent against the Toffees. Wout Weghorst is another option, but Alejandro Garnacho remains sidelined through injury. In midfield, with the exception of long-term casualty Donny van de Beek, United are at full strength, with Casemiro returning from suspension and Christian Eriksen continuing his comeback from injury. Casemiro and Bruno Fernandes are expected to play despite being one yellow card away from a suspension. In recent games, Fernandes has been deployed in a deeper role, which he played to great effect on Sunday. If Eriksen is not yet ready to play 90 minutes, as we suspect, then we could see the Portuguese there again, with Casemiro holding and Marcel Sabitzer in the number 10 position. Fred and Scott McTominay are other options, but Ten Hag usually prefers one strong holding player and two creatives. In defense, Luke Shaw could return after a slight injury, but Ten Hag could elect to keep Tyrell Malaysia in for another game to allow the England man time to rest up and recover. Rafael Varane is expected to come back in for Harry Maguire at right center back, with Lisandro Martinez continuing at left center back. The battle for the right back slot continues and it's hard to predict who will get the nod. We have opted for Diogo Dalot as this is a home game and Ten Hag has said on a number of occasions that he believes the Portuguese is better in attack than Aaron Wan Bissaka. In other news, Ahmed Dilo steals the show with another big performance on loan. Manchester United youngster Ahmed Dilo continued his stunning season on loan for Sunderland. The Easter break was a productive one for Manchester United wonder kid Ahmad, who continues to build up his own impressive season. Ahmad scored two goals in a dramatic 4-4 draw with Hull City on Friday, taking his tally up to 11 strikes for the season. He followed this up with an impressive performance on Easter Monday as Sunderland earned a 1-0 win away at Cardiff, moving up into 10th place. Ahmad stars again. Ahmad led the way for Sunderland with another lively individual performance, as his side earned three points. The Ivory Coast International created six goal-scoring chances, more than any player on the pitch. He also completed four successful dribbles, the highest on the pitch, and won four free kicks for his side. Ahmed tested the goalkeeper with both of his shots at goal, touching the ball 92 times in total. The Mail reported yesterday that Ahmed is expected to be given a first-team opportunity next season. This is positive news. It feels like Ahmed has earned another shot at the Premier League with Manchester United. His talent was not in doubt but prior to this season he had very limited experience, playing only 27 games in his career for Atalanta, Manchester United, and Rangers combined. This season at Sunderland he has exceeded this already with 35 appearances, and he is doing it in a tough league renowned for its physicality. Part of the concern with Ahmed has been whether he would be robust enough to cope with this kind of challenge on a regular basis. He is Pat. If you enjoyed the video make sure to smash the like button and make sure to subscribe to Man United Hub to get all the latest updates. Get all